Welcome back to the Morning Blend and our continuing series, Money Sense with Ellen Becker Investments. And today the focus is on what you have got to know right now about estate planning. It looks like we could all learn from some of the mistakes that James Gandolfini made. He played Tony Soprano, of course, in the hit show about the mafia, Crime Boss. He died recently of a heart attack at just mm -hmm. 51. His last will and testament is actually public, and it has some very surprising and interesting details. Yeah, sad story. So what can we take, though, from his estate planning? Our next guest says plenty, Karen Ellibeck. <laughs> Becker is the president of Ellen Becker Investment Group with more on that. So what happened? Can I draw a picture? Yes. Um, for example, we call up James and we say, we'd like you to come to this meeting. And so he comes into this big room and he sees his entire family and beneficiaries around the table. And all of a sudden he realizes that it's the first meeting after his death. So he's looking down at his family, but he can't say a word. What do you think they're doing? They're fighting about money. Mm -hmm. They're not sitting there saying, oh, look what he did and how he protected us and took care of us. They're fighting about money. He has two wives, one that gets money, one that doesn't. He has a 14-year-old son that's getting $7 million that, he'll, that the wife, the ex-wife, is going to be able to control. He's got a little baby. Uh, the government's going to take somewhere between state and federal taxes of his $70 million estate, somewhere between 35 and $40 million. Now, I'm going to step out on the line here and say, I think he had an incompetent attorney because six weeks before he died, he did a will. Okay. And he had no tax planning. He had no planning for these children when they turned 21 or 18. We've seen with... Mir what is Myra series? What's done with money for her? Mm -hmm. When they oh, get Miley too much Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. <laughs> Miley, see, I get out of the loop. Yeah. But okay. I saw That's how okay. she was dressed. Yeah. <laughs> or wasn't dressed. Or wasn't yeah. dressed. But, you know, we see what money can do. So nothing was put in place. So you can imagine him looking down at his family, and all this stuff that he did is just turning out. A disaster. So is it because it wasn't designated correctly for for the length of the designation? Is that the problem? Because it sounds like there was some designation that happened. And are you saying that that wasn't enough? Well, first of all, I really don't know. An attorney could have okay. given him a lot of good tax advice. And he said, I don't care. Yeah. His ego might have taken over and said, I'm doing it my way. But most people, if an attorney sits down and says, you're going to lose half of your estate, <laughs> they're going to say, mm, what could I do differently? Yeah. I don't see any reason not to pay taxes, but paying more. What he didn't do is he didn't, he didn't look at every scenario and say, what happens to this little two-year-old? What happens to the fortune? What happens uh -huh. to the wife? He gave money to his sisters I mean, he, and some charities. I mean, he didn't think through each situation. And so what's happening now is that the money could potentially destroy mm. this family because they're all arguing and, and he didn't think through it and for some reason he did the will but he did a, a series on it his 44th episode was about protecting and you know we know all of this stuff why do we know it because it's public yeah it's that's public. what's so ironic it's I think about public. this story if we're gonna take something mm -hmm. from it his last will and testament is something like 17 pages it's public um, but he did this episode on the Sopranos where he it, you know <laughs> he was advised by a fictional CPA to create a revocable living trust and all of these things and it, it's too bad that in real life he didn't yes. follow some of that good advice so let's talk about what we can then learn yeah. from his mistakes potentially. So first of all, make sure that your attorney specializes in estate and tax mm -hmm. planning is key. The reason I say that is because most people don't know the questions to ask. Mm -hmm. So you have to have an attorney who's going to make recommendations and suggestions to you and let you choose from the array of possibilities. But if you don't know the questions and they're not asking you about them, the plan could be a vanilla plan that doesn't really meet your particular needs. The other thing I'll say is a lot of times people People don't want to share their information, mm -hmm. so they don't want to tell everything if they have a child who has a disability yeah. or a, a, a family member who maybe has an addiction of some sort. So sometimes they don't give enough information for the attorney to do a good job. Right. Mm -hmm. So what's the benefit of the revocable living trust? Well, one thing is a will is a ticket to probate court. Probate court is a public process. A revocable living trust will give you the opportunity to keep it totally probate free. It keeps it private. Mm -hmm. And if you have houses in other states like he did, you don't have a probate in each state. Oh, okay. And, and, and one of the things that we've talked about so many that is so dear to my heart is one of the things you can do is a lifetime credit protection trust within a will or a trust, and it protects in an event of a divorce. So think about this 
son who's getting $7 million. He goes out and buys this great big house, gets married, and ends up getting divorced. And he has to split his inheritance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it wasn't protected. Gotcha. Yeah. You also say consider putting in place co-trustees with your mm -hmm. children to help them learn to manage money. Yes. So for example, my son who is older but also has never managed money, when he inherits the money, he inherits it in a trust, a lifetime credit protection, but he will be co-trustees for I think I've got it in six years where he can learn to manage the money. And mm -hmm. it just doesn't get it all at once. Mm -hmm. So you want them to learn about the process of money, which is why we do family meetings and we have a family office where we help children who are going to inherit sizable sums of money. And you know, to kids, sizable sums of money is any money. Yes. <laughs> right. It's true. It's true. I mean, it yeah. is. And That's you want to make point. sure that yes. they're managing it correctly and not blowing it and doing the things that are going to make sure that the... the the, what you wanted to happen will hopefully happen. Well, if they get $50,000 or $50 million or mm -hmm. $5 million or whatever, $50,000 to an 18-year-old or a 21-year-old seems like it'll last them forever. Absolutely. I agree. And be careful with blended families, you yes. say, because it can be tricky and you need to think through all the possibilities mm -hmm. and then update as your life changes. So yes. first of all, you can get a free peace of mind checklist. This is a great list of documents that you should have in order. It, it, it lists documents I've never even thought of. 262-691-3200 <laughs> is how you can reach Karen. Or you can just email one of the people in her office. Office. That's Tracy at EllenBecker.com. Now, if your will um, or trust is outdated, you can call Karen. Um, if you do not have an estate plan, you really should think about doing that right now and calling Karen. Or if you're considering a lifestyle change, it's great to ask questions too. So get in touch with Karen by calling 262-691-3200 or go to EllenBecker.com. And you know, Molly, Thanks, a big thing that everyone can do is picture that you're in that meeting. Mm -hmm. Just picture yourself looking down on your family and asking ask yourself what will it be like are yeah. they celebrating all these gifts or are they you know are they like turtles on their back they don't know where to turn and yeah. they're fighting I mean nobody we don't want our kids to fight no. exactly and we don't we you know that's not what it's, it's all about point. Thanks, it's a great Karen. tip thank mm -hmm. you Karen